What up, what up, what up? It's your favorite Shit Talking Squirrel, back for another YouTube video. Uh, so we're going to look at a couple of clips from Judge Rangel's court today. Uh, the first clip I originally saved because it was, like, so wholesome. I figured it'd be a nice break from all the depressing stuff we usually see, but a few months go by, and unfortunately things kind of unravel a bit, and I've got a lot to say. Uh, so yeah, it should be, uh, at the very least, it'll be, uh, you know, thought-provoking and, you know, might raise some good discussion. You guys all like talking about these hearings in the comments. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do that again this time and it should be a lot of fun. So let's get this. Um, it is 8.57. I think we can start. We're missing a couple of, um, not too many. We can take care of... Let's take care of Miss Sabrina can go first. Miss Sabrina's not gone first, I don't think, ever, ever, ever in a long time. How are you, Miss Sabrina? I'm good, Judge. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. You, got, you got rid of your extensions. Oh, just for today. <laughs> they're clip-ons, you said, right? So they're yes. easy to pop and put on. Okay, great. Great. Mm -hmm. they just if I, if I put on a clip on, it gives me a headache. Yes, me too. Like, my head feels sore. Itching, 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 itching and then so, yeah. so, so I can understand how you have to give yourself a little break. How's everything, Miss Sabrina? Talk to me. How's everything? Um, Everything's good. I, I'm back on my meds. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. And that's okay. That's okay. It raised a, a, an alarm, okay, a little bit, but... um. You've got the right, you're an adult. I respect you guys, right? You've yeah. got the, you've got the right to try to wean yourself off, right? Mm -hmm. We need to Yeah, have I mean, my doctor thinks it's a good idea that I stay on them. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know, she talked to some of her colleagues and basically like with my diagnosis, it's, very rare that anybody ever gets off of their meds completely. I don't so, think that is that really true. Is that really I true? Mean, yeah. Let's say we're gonna we're gonna get you off. Yes. Not yet. Not yet. Not yeah, not yet. yet. I agree. Okay. And we'll do I it slowly, surely. We how many meds? How many meds are you taking, Miss Sabrina? Um, so I take four different ones, but uh -huh. I take one of them like three times a day. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Sometimes I, I we have, feel better. <laughs> sometimes we have headaches and we need aspirins. Now, um, you, it was reported to me yesterday that one of them said makes you feel like you're, you're kind of like zoned out, a, a, a zombie. Which one is that one? I don't know. <laughs> Ah. Um, so I was on what's called Trileptol, and that one is a mm -hmm. mood stabilizer. And I have to have that one with my bipolar medication or else I feel like angry. I get stuck in like an angry mood. Okay. But they said it's bad for my liver, so she put me on something else. Um okay. it starts with an L. But it makes me feel like super, um, I guess, peppy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, That's good. Can you share some of that with me? Yeah. Can you share, please? No. Yeah, so that one is really nice. In the morning, I can get up, get the kids ready, you know, do everything. But by like one o'clock, I'm like, oh, <laughs> my battery is out. Let's do it. Sabrina, this is what I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you, and this is real important. Mm -hmm. You need to be proactive, right? Yes. And if you don't feel good on the drugs, you tell these people. They can change it. They can reduce yes. the dosage. They can, you know, I don't want you to go around feeling like you've lost control or you're a oh, zombie yeah. or you're, you know. No, no, um, no. no. And, and I had done that. They might do. What they might do is isolate it. Isolate the drug so you can know which one is causing what if you're taking for your right. four or five at the same time. Yeah. I mean, uh, Miss Medina, my nurse practitioner, she's amazing. 
and mm -hmm. I'm very vocal with her about everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, it took us about a year to get the right combination. Okay, um, so I mean, I feel good. I'm just my body's getting used to it. Okay, well, so, just be proactive. Yes, this makes me feel like this now. This makes me feel ugly. This makes me feel. Yes. this makes me feel so that oh, way yeah. we can. The meds will be a positive experience and not a negative. Yes. Okay. No, I mean, and I, I feel good. And I know that like, I got a little too confident, like trying to get off of my meds. It's just, I wanted to see, I guess, maybe how it was. And, right. you know, there's nothing wrong with that. With yeah. doctor supervision, there's nothing wrong with yes. weaning yourself from medication. It didn't yeah. quite work. Let's wait a little bit longer. Let's try something else. Let's do this. It's not a big deal. Yes, it's not, to me, it's not even a bump in the road. It's just something yeah. that it didn't work. Okay, move on. Let's start <laughs> and then experiment a little bit more again, but not maybe quite now. Yes, I agree. Good. I'm with you. Now, before I let you leave, and before Ms. Melin, you tell me about Ms. Uh, Ms. Sabrina, I want Ms. Um, Vallejo, I think she has an announcement regarding um, the, the marathon or the email. Is that it, Ms. Vallejo, before I let everybody go today? Yes, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I started about a minute or two early. <laughs> I, I apologize, Your Honor. Um, I should apologize to you because I started early. I should have been on earlier, Your Honor. No way. No <laughs> way. Talk to me, Ms. Vallejo. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, a few weeks ago, we received a a YouTube comment from a Tammy Camfield. Uh, Miss Tammy, if you are out there, can you get in contact with us um, at the probation department or if you can leave a comment on the YouTube uh, comment section with your email or some kind of contact information so we can reach out to you, please. Mr. Bazan, she reached out to us about helping us with your marathon. Okay, That's so wonderful. people, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so, if you can, Miss Tammy, please call 915-771-8500. 915-771-8500. Put that on chat so everybody will, please. Please, please. We need all the help we can get. We don't know what the heck we're doing <laughs> for the marathon. So please. <laughs> Please, please, please contact us. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful gesture. And I want you, Mr. Bazan, to know that you touch people out there. You guys do. You guys do touch people. Miss Sabrina, you know that. You, Miss Sabrina had a fan base. You guys touch <laughs> people. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. Ms. Melin, thank you very much. Ms. Vallejo, appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I'll be waiting for your call, Miss Tammy Camfield, if you can reach out to us. And Mr. Reveles, yes, uh, I think Mr. G I should have talked to you about this before, but it just dawned on me. If you're going to monitor, you're monitoring the chats too, right? Just to yes, make correct. sure. Yes, okay, good. Thank you. Yes, Thank you so much, sir. You're awesome. Okay. We're great. Miss um, Meline Flores, talk to me about Miss Sabrina. So, Your Honor, um, on 427, we have a, we had a mist and I spoke to Miss Sabrina and that's when we, she was doing the transitioning about her medication, but, um, you know, she she came into an agreement that she wanted to get back and continue yeah. working on them. So, um, Ms. Sabrina, I brought it up to the judge um, about the miss, right. you know, and right. all that you've been going through. So, um, yeah, Ms. Project, did, Your Honor, did, would you like to did. tell her? <laughs> the Phoenix Project agree on not giving you a sanction since you were going through this transitioning thank you um, so. i wanted you to tell her that oh <laughs> because it started with your idea Ms. because we said should we give her a sanction or not and uh we decided not to thank you i really appreciate it yes you're trying hard you're doing yes <laughs> it was it was an experiment <laughs> it didn't go quite well. There were some issues on the 27th when you missed the kids, et cetera, et cetera. But, yes. but that's okay. We tried. We tried. Yes. It didn't work. Go back. Yes. And I, I mean, I'm super positive about my therapy and, you know, 
feeling good and doing good. And I'm proud of myself for the first time in a very long time. So I appreciate your guys' support. And this is what happens, you guys. I think what I think this is what I think happens once people get on meds. And I've been told this once people get on meds, they feel great. They think they can do it. They, yes. do it. they don't realize how much impact the meds have. They think they can do it on their own and they go off and then it doesn't happen. Yeah. So we're, good. we're good, Miss Sabrina. We're yes. still behind you a thousand percent. Keep up the great, great work. Thank you so much. And thank you. Yes. Do you have appointments today, Miss Sabrina? I do. I have extensions today. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Thank have a busy. great, have thank a great, you. great day. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Mr. Caraveo. Mr. Caraveo, you're on mute. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Mr. Caraveo. How are you this morning? Pretty good. Are you soft? Great. I'm great. You, you're still going to the gym? I am still... going to the gym. Yes, this is week number three. <laughs> You, Mr. Bazan, you better be proud of me. Week number three. I am, miss, I am. I'm there sweating like a pig. I'm skipping rope. I'm doing circuit training. I'm, oh my God, you wouldn't recognize me. <laughs> you guys motivate me. You guys have motivated me because I have to get ready for Mr. Bazan's um, marathon. Well, I may not do the marathon, maybe just the 5K. Are you going to the gym, Mr. Caraveo? Or you yes, don't have time? No, yes, now I do, and, and it was hard to get back on it, but I, I thought about you also, and Judge is doing it, I'm going to keep up with it. I'm on week three. Yes. What week are you on? I'm barely back. This is my first week, to be honest. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. They say don't, 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 don't. Don't miss. Don't miss. We can always find a pocket of an hour or 45 minutes. That's why I like exactly. circuit training. That's why I like circuit training. It's 30 minutes. If I have more time, I stay there. If I don't, I'm in and out. 30 minutes. Jump rope for a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Then I lift and I jump rope again. Then I lift and I... Oh, wow. At this wow. age, it's exhausting, Mr. Caraveo. But you're going to motivate me and I'm going to motivate you. Okay, perfect. Sounds good to me. We have to get ready for, for Mr. Bazan's marathon. You and I are going to run side by side. Okay. You're gonna do 26 miles. You're gonna do 26 miles, though. I'm not. <laughs> oh. How's life with you, Mr. Caravan? Good. Everything's good. Thank God. Everything's good. Taking it a day at a time, like I always do. Just busy at work. Blessed to be here and keeping up with everything. And keeping up beautifully. Keeping up beautifully. Ms. Myra, before. Ms. Myra Lopez, I don't mean to interrupt you, Mr. Carabello. Don't go anywhere. Ms. Myra, I want you to plug your roses. I forgot. Ms. Myra, do you have roses there? No, I'm at work today. Ah. Okay. I did, Ms. I did post them on uh, Instagram. I know, but I want people to see them live. I want people to see them live. Ms. Christina, do we have a good picture? Miss Christina. Good morning, Your Honor. Miss Christina's not in today. Um, and I don't have a picture. Does anybody have a picture of, of Miss? I have a picture, Your Honor. Give me awesome. minutes. Let's show it because it's $10. It's a beautiful rose. It's attached to a beautiful homemade card. It's $10 for mothers. It's Mother's Day. Remember, we cannot forget our lovely mothers. Who brought us life? Do we have it? $10. And then if you want to bunch them up and do three or six or whatever, I'm sure Ms. Myra will do that. Right, Ms. Myra? Yes, ma'am. Just a minute, Your Honor. The picture on Instagram, did Ms. Chavez tell you yesterday, Myra, the picture on Instagram didn't do it justice. It's beautiful. The picture on Instagram didn't look as beautiful as some of the other pictures that Ms. Chavez had. Oh, Which one? The one where I uh, added the. 
I just posted one with the flower and the cart together and I added the price. And, and the cards are beautiful, they're original. And one card even says, if mom, if you were a flower, I would pick you or I would choose you, right? Is that what it said, Miss? Yes, if, if Miss, mother for a flower, I'll pick you. Yes, you're right. Here's one. Beautiful then, card. Let's see it. Talk, Miss Scott, so you can. Yes, Your Honor. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So okay, so that, that is one there. And that one's wrapped in a paper and it's really pretty. And you can also see the rainbow um, roses in the background. Um, here's a rainbow one that I really like. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. you see, these, you see these pictures, Miss Myra? Are these the kind of pictures you have on Instagram? Because these are gorgeous. Those are the pictures I have on Instagram. Beautiful. See this one? Okay. Oh my God. And and they're homemade cards. Her daughter makes the homemade cards. It's a family little business. Ten card and one rose. I'm sure she will sell. Miss Myra will sell a bunch. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. What we didn't like, Miss Myra, was the the these pictures oh. that you put up because you can't really see anything. That's the one I didn't like. I didn't like these pictures. That one didn't do the flowers justice. But this one's really pretty. Like it shows all your roses. That's gorgeous. Back it up a little bit. Back it up a little bit because it's a little bit. Okay, bring it forward there again. Is. is that better, Your Honor? A little better. A little better. There it is, right there. Oh my God, they're right there. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. You've done a gorgeous job, Miss Myra. So everybody, Phoenix Project, let's try to support Miss Myra, $10 a card and a rose that's absolutely beautiful and thoughtful for your mom. Myra, your Instagram again for everybody watching. What's your Instagram? It's Myra.Alejandra9230. Very good. Beautiful. So you've got Instagram too, and she's got Cash App, and you can just go pick it up, whatever. Okay. Mr. Caraveo, I, I hear nothing but glowing reports from you, from everybody, from your counselor to Ms. Vallejo to, you know, everybody. So let us start creating Caraveo homes. Let's start, <laughs> creating, let's start creating that, okay? If I may, Your Honor, just to add to that. Of um, course. A, a small a quote, if you don't, build your dream somebody will hire you to help build theirs wow god that's beautiful wow. so wow, yes i think you can do it mr caraveo i see your future is so bright that's beautiful Thank that you. was a great quote that was a great great quote and we want to be here making people's dreams come true we don't want to make other people that we don't even know dreams come true everybody so come on we can do it yes Mr. Caraveo, Thank you. have a great day. Have a great day. And start creating. Today's it's start good. creating Caraveo homes. Thank you. Yes. That's the plan. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. You have a good day. Bye. All right. Well, uh, let's jump ahead a couple of months and check in with Sabrina. See how she's doing uh, just today, actually. She had a hearing. Okay, good morning, everybody, once again. This is my Phoenix project. Um, we had a great staffing yesterday. Uh, oh, my goodness. Shut. I had a great staffing yesterday. Um, except we've got a little issue. Miss Sabrina. Mr. Mm -hmm. Bruce, where are we? I'm here. I oh, know. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm good. I just got home. Well, I got home like 30 minutes ago. I went to go do a UA. You went to go do what? A UA. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, very I was good. the first one there. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <sighs> um... What is going on, Miss Sabrina? We're having a little issue. <laughs> What's going on? Tell me. Um, so, for one, it's summer, and 
I don't know like what it is about well I mean I know what it is the kids are out so we stay up watching movies and then in the morning they don't have to leave right away it's not like we're getting ready for school and all of that and I oversleep I don't have an excuse except that I oversleep and then I went almost two weeks without an air conditioner and I couldn't sleep so then I would sleep past my my morning blow and then not wake up till like nine so okay i'm trying to make excuses you know um i just without the air conditioner it really put me like it put me off for the whole month really because i couldn't work because i didn't have you know the right temperature in the salon and once I finally got it the guy came on 4th of July and was able to hook up my air and it's been a lot better but it's so hard for me I know if it was the air conditioner you know, July 2nd was the first time that you did a 12 hour no mm -hmm. blow 12 hour gap then it happened the second you said you fixed your conditioner on the 4th then there's no more after the fourth. Yeah, because I mean the kids are out from school. But no, the, like the kids were out from school even way before them. I understand that. Yeah. Um I'm I'm not making excuses. I messed up and I don't want to sound like how I'm not trying to be a victim. I'm not trying to justify what I did. It's it was it was an honest mistake, Miss Ronhal. Like I've been doing so good with everything in my life. Honest like, mistake. There was if that's the case, there were three mistakes. I know that. Mistake my, is a one time deal. A one time it, deal. This wasn't a mistake. This is a pattern in a in a this is a pattern in a behavior, a patterned behavior for a certain period of time. I and mean, hours you can drink, but I'm not. That's the thing. Like, and there's, you're not. Okay, I, I'm uh, not. I mean, I don't even leave my house. I don't even have a life. Like, I stay home, and I literally just sit here waiting till my freaking psycho ex boyfriend gets out of jail so that I can be cautious to make sure he doesn't come look for me. I don't even do anything like I, I literally, I think about my probation 24 seven. I'm not, I'm trying everything that I can. Not trying. I, I know really you're trying. I know you're trying. Nobody can say you're not trying. No, Miss Sabrina, I'm not saying you're not, you're not trying. I see it. We've seen it. We've seen a major awesome awesome difference i see a progress but people fall off and people I'm fall off and so if you would just tell us be honest tell I, us it you, is, know, you have been. like i swear to you and you could even talk to my mother-in-law she sees what i go through when i wake up late and i'm like I wake up late and then it keeps going because my anxiety gets so bad that it's like my body shuts down. I'm like, oh, whatever, like just sleep. And I miss everything. And then I find my phone like with my son. I'm like, Max, you know not to take my phone, baby, like while I'm sleeping, you know? And I hate to have to say that it's my kid's fault. So of course I don't say that, you know? I. I don't miss my blows during the day. I. So I just want to cut in here really quick for any of you that might be judging her or jumping to conclusions and thinking, I mean, I've heard it from people myself. People will say, why don't you just get up and get out of bed? For anybody that hasn't dealt with extreme cases of anxiety or depression or addiction or, you know, any debilitating mental health issue, you can literally find yourself laying in bed with your phone blowing up and everyone around you just trying to push you to get up and and i've had people say this to me just just get up and get over it 
but it can be very difficult to get out of that cycle once you're like stuck in it. It's it can start small with just something as simple as I overslept for five minutes, and you get what they call a case of the fuck it's like oh fuck it I'm gonna I'm I, I might as well sleep in because I'm I'm already late at this point, and then an hour goes by and then two. And then your family starts calling, and now you've missed your next appointment, and the problem just grows and grows and grows until it's gotten to a point where it starts to become scary or really intimidating to even address it. So what do you what do you do? You end up internalizing and hiding even more, and it just it like spins out of control really quickly. It can be a really vicious cycle that can be very very difficult to break. So what she's describing here, it, it's a very real thing. Yeah, it's the it was the five a.m. one, but it left a twelve-hour gap, eleven-hour gap, and I think another twelve-hour gap. There were three times. See, when you were doing so well, you weren't missing, you weren't doing. Then all of a sudden, there you are, twelve-hour gaps. Yes, that's because why we, that's why we get on high alert. No, and I understand that. Trust me, if I was in your guys's okay. place, I would be like, she's messing up, and that's where. It it messes with me because I hate for to look like that person, especially, you know, I can't go back to jail. I can't I don't want to let my kids down. I let myself down. Like I have been through so much and I'm so proud of myself because I have not relapsed. I'm so proud of myself because in the past I would have looked at this like the end of the world. I would have been like, screw it, I'm in trouble anyways. But I'm not that person anymore. Yeah. Okay. You know, I understand. I understand everything you're telling me, but there's something. <sighs> when I see you doing so well, and then, oh my God, three times so bad and 12 hours and, and 12 hours, you could have a couple of drinks. It causes high alert. I have I to in staffing yesterday, we're talking about safety for you now. So, Sabrina, you got to tell us the truth. I swear to you, I okay. was okay. okay, okay. We're talking safety. Safety's on the table now, but... Um, I swear Oh, miss any blues. Oh, okay. Miss Sabrina, now's your time to tell us the truth. Yes, and I have told you guys the truth. I swear oh. to you. Okay. You've not been drinking. I promise you. I swear on my children, on everything. I have not been drinking. I have not. I wish so you guys. The time. Now's the time for you to be honest. And I am honest, I am, I am an open book to you guys. I am so honest right now. I promise you, I, I know better than to lie to you, Judge. I know better and I cannot leave my children. I have done nothing to risk anything because my children are the only thing I have. Okay. And Okay, this was your opportunity to be honest with us, okay? Because honesty goes a long way, you know that. And I had to be honest with you and tell you that safety was discussed. Safety was discussed for you as a sanction for three times. But we didn't understand, Miss Sabrina, you know that on July 2nd, you had a 12 hour gap and there was some concern and they had to talk to you about it and they were gonna talk to me about it. And then you do it two more times after I, that. And trust me, I know, and I beat myself up over it. I I swear to you, like, okay. it's, eats away at me because I don't want you guys to think that because I know it's reliving last year all over again. And right. right. But it, it's not reliving last year again. Don't even go back there. People have relapses. People progress, 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 do great, great, great. And then they have a little relapse. There's nothing wrong with that other than be honest, confront it, yeah. suffer the consequences and move on and do better. And so yes. that's why I'm giving you every opportunity. I'm begging you to tell me the truth. I'm I begging really am. 
me. Okay. 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 You're saying you're telling me the truth. I can't prove otherwise. I, right? I, you. I, yeah, I can't. We can't prove otherwise. But what about a hair follicle test for you? I mean, if I can get help with somebody paying for it, I'm more than happy. I did it last time. No, I know. So now you've got to pay for it. You did it three mistakes. Okay. I will, I will pay. I can you get them three money. mistakes. Yes, ma'am. You gotta pay somehow, Miss Sabrina. Yes, we can't, I will somebody do it. can't keep bailing you and bailing you and bailing you. Yes, I will do it. And my dad will pay for it because he. Who will pay for it? My father will pay for it because okay, he good. supports this. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you have somebody that will support you and that believes in you. Okay, Ms. Melin Flores is telling me you missed again this morning. I did, and I did my U8. And yesterday you went in the morning as well, Ms. Sabrina? I know, and I it's, I don't know what to say. Like, my anxiety, I sat here and I cried to my caseworker. I cried to my therapist. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain tell to me you. To tell us the truth. That's I am telling you the truth. Oh my God. All we want is the truth. If you're and drinking, I, Sabrina, we want to help you. So you missed yesterday, you missed today. It's five times already. And you know that that's the issue. I'm not drinking. I'm not doing anything to to put my probation, my children, my life, my house, because if anything happens to me, I'm not going to have everything when I get back because I'm still trying to get back on my feet from being in jail. Sabrina, something is going on with you I for you to have five missed gaps, 12 hours, Miss Melin. Um, no, Your Honor, yesterday and today, she missed the 5 a.m. Yeah, um, but how, many, how much is the gap? Um, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, Your Honor, 9 hours. <laughs> Not yes. She misses a 5 o'clock. She's got a, a 9, 10 hour gap. Can gap. I... This is five times, Sabrina, you were perfect, perfect, perfect for yeah. month after month after month after month after month. So what is going on? The fact that, you know, I have a life outside of probation and I have to pretend like everything's perfect or else you guys think that I'm drinking. You know, I feel like I can't even have a bad day. I had no air conditioner. I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent. My utilities are all way past due because it's constantly trying to catch up. And my anxiety, I have PTSD medication that I take and I take it and I don't wake up. But my children weren't here Thursday, Friday, Saturday because they had a comp um tournament in Las Cruces I was alone by myself for the first time and I don't know how long I take my PTSD medication what happens I don't wake up you know there's a million things that go on in my head and I don't even know why I do things I don't know I don't think my doctor even knows but I'm trying and I'm begging you to understand where I'm coming from I can't, I can't, oh, I don't even have the words for it. I swear to you, I'm not drinking. I will get the money. I will do the hair follicle. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. I don't care. I'll do it. <laughs> because I, I'm so strong. But, but this is, but this is, okay. And then this is the other issue. What are we going to do if, Let's say that you're telling us the truth. Let's say you're telling us the truth. And, and it comes out negative. The fact that you have created five, 10 to 12 hour gaps has to be sanctioned. 
Well, everybody else gets work release, so I suggest that I get work release too because I wasn't caught drinking. I don't drink, and I will say that, and I don't plan on drinking after I get off probation because I was a horrible person. You know, I want to help people that were just like me so they don't feel like nobody understands them. It is very hard to keep it all together for myself, for you guys, and most importantly for my kids because it, they can't see me upset. And my anxiety has this really messed up way of doing things like this to me because I get so overwhelmed that I sleep because I just want it to just go away. And then I end up oversleeping. I don't do it on purpose. Trust me, you think no, I want it's to go been, You've been perfectly fine until July 2nd. You were perfectly fine for my, and you still had your PTSD. You still had your children. You still had yeah. your medication. You still had your, your business. You had all of those stresses still. All of a sudden, July 2nd, you unraveled. What happened? Oh. That, that's our perspective. You've had I, all the all the excuses you've just given me, you've had them for months and months and months when you've been successful. So yeah. what happened July I mean, 2nd? I, I don't have a reason. I don't have, I can't sit here and tell you because there's no reason I didn't. You know, if you want me to be perfectly honest, this is a perfect example. Something that, Nobody knows. You guys don't know about it. But I lost a baby in April. I was pregnant. And that still didn't push me to drink. Can I ask whose was it? It was the same father. <laughs> your ex? Your ex? It was your ex? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you didn't drink in April. No, I didn't. And you know, yeah. I, it was very hard for me and I didn't talk to anybody about it mm -hmm. because, you know, I didn't want to live it. I didn't want to talk about it. It was... How many months were you? I was 11 weeks. Okay, well, I'm sorry that happened to you. It's, I I'm just, sorry. I only, I only bring it up because something like that was so detrimental to my life and I still didn't drink Ms. Renhel, like, I am very, 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 very sorry that it looks that way, but I promise you, I, I promise you, I'll do anything. <laughs> but once again, still, Miss Sabrina, that, let me try to say this nicely. I'll say this nicely. Your standard, your standard operating procedure, okay, your behavior and your pattern is to defend and deflect. Defend and deflect. So you're in a lot of trouble. Five times, 12, 10 to 12 hour gaps. And you choose to tell us about this thing, this bad thing that happened to you, this terrible thing that happened to you right now yeah because i'm desperate for you guys to see this is a that's a defend mechanism that's a defend and deflect yeah yeah i did bad but look at what i went through yeah yeah no. yeah i did bad but look at the good yeah yeah yeah, yeah i did bad but look at what I've gone through. sabrina that is another affirmation to me that you lead a double life no that is you not didn't tell us then i should 
You're not honest with us. That's another affirmation with you. Exactly why I didn't want to say to begin with. So I have to tell you, you telling us that, you disclosing us that, disclosing that to us at this moment made matters worse for me. <laughs> because you're still using your same addictive defense mechanism, which is defend and defend anytime you're in trouble, number one. And number two is still leading a double life and you're not honest with us. I am being so honest. So yeah, but you weren't in April. This yeah. is July. You weren't it's in April and you bring it up when you're in a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. No, no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am. <laughs> I was just using it yes, as an example. <laughs> you didn't use it as an example. You used it. You wanted us to feel sorry for you so we wouldn't sanction you. Or to prove I the fact that you didn't you can sanction but me. I'll do, you know that I'll do everything. I don't ever say no. So these addiction programs are like a really good thing. Jail is not the answer for a lot of addicts or alcoholics. This Project Phoenix thing that Judge Rangel is doing is really commendable. And I think that the community that she's built around it is beautiful. That being said, she is totally out of line here. She is like straight up yelling at this girl who's clearly not processing any of this in a healthy way. She's basically breaking down right in front of us. Her miscarriage, that was a traumatic event. How one person deals with trauma is never going to be the same as how someone else, someone else might deal with that or, or even make sense for that matter. And far be it for someone else to judge another for what kind of effect trauma might have on them. Sabrina didn't ask for some fucked up shit to happen to her, it just did. Her not bringing it up isn't her living a double life, it's probably just her defense mechanisms taking over because she's been hurt. I think she should be commended for not letting that awful, awful experience sidetrack her, you know, and not throw it in her face for not bringing it up sooner. I mean, Judge Rangel is straight up yelling at this poor girl right now. Ass assume for a second, whether you believe her or not, that she is telling the truth. I think she is, but regardless. So now you're going to yell at her for telling, telling you her miscarriage? That's fucked up. Just give her the hair follicle test. If she's negative, work out some kind of punishment that doesn't serve to derail her progress. And if she's positive, send her to jail. It's pretty simple. Ugh. Well, safety's on the table now. <laughs> safety's on the table. We discussed it seriously, I'm telling you. We're going to sit. We're going to discuss everything again. Staff it again. And let's see where it goes, Miss Sabrina. Let's see where it goes. Sabrina, this is not good. This is not you still leading a double life. Oh, Ms. Ronhal, I promise you, I don't even have my own life. I just, I'm trying to be perfect for you guys. We don't want perfect. We want honesty. <laughs> I, don't want perfect. I don't want perfect. Yes, judge, I screwed up. Yeah, I dr I've been drinking. This has happened. This has happened. This has happened. I've been drinking. Okay, I Sabrina. What are we going to do to fix it and make it better? That's all I want. I don't want perfection. I want honesty. And I'm being honest. And for you to say that I want perfection is offensive. It's not After true. all this time that you know me, all it's I want is honesty. And I'm being honest. Okay. 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 I don't want to humiliate myself on YouTube. You think I like that? I don't. Miss Flores, anybody else has any questions, Miss Sabrina? Because we're going to stop this again. Because I think, you know, safe pay maybe. Um, no, you're not. I'm just a little bit confused because I never knew. Nobody knew, not even the caseworker when I spoke to her, um, that she was having issues with the medication, that she was oversleeping but yet she goes to bed late she doesn't blow a 10 so it's just a lot of confusion your honor mm -hmm. well my life is not <laughs> i 
I'm not saying anything anymore. <laughs> I tried to explain to you guys, but it's like I it's so frustrating because I I've tried so hard. And I I it doesn't matter what I say, like you guys are gonna think I'm trying to play the victim and I'm not. I take full accountability for everything I do. I I just don't want to leave my kids. <laughs> I know, Miss Sabrina, but what did you think? Five missed uh, blows of 10 to 12 hour gaps each was going to lead to after you've sat in jail. I've given you work release. I've given you 30 days straight. Sanctions generally go up. They don't go down. My sanction went up. It definitely did. And I. It's going to go up again with five missed. What are you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I blow seven times a day and it's all I freaking think about. So when I go to sleep, my mind just wants to get away from all of it. Six times a day. You're not, you're not the only one. Everybody in my court, they manage. And they managed to do it. So don't, you're going well, to, victim. Like you're going to victim else. status. You're doing victim mode. Everybody in my court does it and they have no problems with it. Okay. <laughs> you're going to victim. I'm not going to let you go to victim. I don't want to hear victim from okay. you. You're not a victim. I'm not. Well, you went to victim. I blow seven times a day. You know, that's victim. Anybody have any questions of Miss Sabrina before we um anybody? I anybody? don't have a question, Your Honor, but I do want to make it clear for Miss Sabrina that the kids should be going to sleep early. They should be going back to school in about two weeks and they should stay in a consistent schedule. Because it's very important for the children to sleep there at least eight hours straight. Okay, um, I I totally agree. And but I highly suggest you should be you telling home. that to my ex husband, not to me, because they come home whenever they please, and I have no say in any of I, that. And that's what I'm telling Sabrina to talk to your husband and your mother in law, because yes. I know they, they pick them up and everything. Okay. Um, but I said just for you to be in bed as well, at least your eight hours, ma'am, because we're allowing you to blow at 10 and then at 5 a.m. So those are your eight hours of sleep. And if your anxiety is that bad, ma'am, um, it's because you're not sleeping well. You're not having a consistent schedule. And I will let your caseworker know as well to check on your medication to see what is going on with the medication as well. My medication is good. It's just my PTSD medication. And I talked to her about it yesterday. Um, but I, I mean, there's... As well. yes, sounds good. So the children okay. should be in bed already asleep, no later than 9 p.m. Okay, ma'am. And I'll be doing the visit. And yes. Those, and your children should be in bed already. If they're home. I'll make sure they're home, ma'am. Thank you. Miss Sabrina, if you needed help with that, why don't you reach out and tell us? <laughs> because. Come on. You're the mom. I just want peace in my life. You're the mother. I understand that. You're the mother. <laughs> They also took care of my kids while I was in jail and I came out of there not knowing what the heck I was doing anymore. I came out feeling like they took control of the kids. And you know what? Sometimes I just don't want to deal with it because there's so many other things that are going on that I'm like, okay, at least the kids are happy. At least they're okay. But you know what? They come home. I'm hungry. I want this. I want that. And it's 10 o'clock at night. You know, it's, it's, I'm trying my best still to be a single mom. And I think I thought I was doing fine. But 
I have a very hard time asking for help or telling people anything. And it ends up kicking me in the butt later and I'm working on it. I'm working on everything, all of it. And I just want you guys to see that I, I'm trying. I, it sucks because I feel like I can't even talk because I'm gonna say something the wrong way. Or I'm gonna make somebody upset. So I'm, I'm just not gonna talk more. I, I, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Anything else you want to tell us? No. Okay. okay, we're going to staff you again, Miss Sabrina. We'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> bye. Whew, that was hard to get through. I'm pretty good at reading people. I spent a lot of time listening to addicts and alcoholics. And I know what it sounds like when they are covering up their use. I know what it sounds like when they are trying to convince someone and I know what it's like what it sounds like when they're trying to convince themselves and I don't I don't get that from her I did not get the sense that she's covering up for her drinking I think what she said was the truth that she did miss a lot and she just flat out didn't have a good reason for why she missed so much but the reason was that she's struggling with her mental health when people talk about stigmas surrounding mental wellness this is it she didn't even feel secure enough to admit to herself that, hey, I, I was going through some shit and just getting out of bed was really, really hard. And don't get me wrong, I'm not making excuses for her. She has kids. As much as it sucks and that she's struggling, she still needed to get her ass out of bed and get to those check-ins. She was very, very close to going. She still might go to jail. But all the accusations of her lying and then, like, the shaming... They even started going in on her parenting skills at the end. It just, it felt really gross to me. If she messed up, she messed up. Let her suffer the consequences, but the the beating her up and the, the shaming for her struggling was just, it was kind of messed up. I mean, she even, about her miscarriage at one point, and they start like yelling at her, saying she's playing the victim and she's deflecting, it just... Ugh, it really put a bad taste in my mouth. Look, we all suffer with mental health struggles sometimes, some more than others. To some, to some extent, it, it happens to all of us. There will be times when we feel like we can take on the world, and other times when even just getting out of bed seems like an insurmountable task. It's okay if life gets hard sometimes. You need to still take care of yourself and your kids, yes, but... We don't need to be shaming and judging people for situations we don't necessarily even fully understand. That's my opinion on this anyways. What, what do you guys think? Does anyone out there think that she was lying? Do you agree with Judge Rangel? I think she kind of missed the mark on this one, but she's overall a great judge. This program she's running is incredible. I mean, the camaraderie they all share, she's truly changing people's lives. You can, you can see it. So I wanted to say that before we go, that she's doing beautiful and important work, but I just, I thought on this one case, maybe she came down a little too hard. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And with that, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye, guys.